Hey everybody. So today I am going to do a pour on a 16 by 20 canvas with deco art colors. And I'm wanting to do kind of a vertical stripe and Dutch pour combination. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. And I'm trying to show you the consistency of my paint here. I am doing a voiceover. My microphone was dead that day. So you should let it pour off your stick like melted ice cream. You don't want it to drip like water and you don't want it to stick to your stick. You want it to land on the surface of your paint and immediately sink in. I've added OGX to all of my colors. That's Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Hair Serum. It is a very specific product. There's all kinds of coconut milk products out there. Uh, just takes one drop, not a full pump. If you pump, you'll get at least a teaspoon of product in your hand. You just want to barely squeeze the trigger to get one drop to come out and mix into your cup of color. It doesn't matter if you have three ounces of paint or 10 ounces of paint mixture. It is just one drop regardless. I'm going to put a light, very light, skim coat of white. And that is also, all of my colors are mixed with Floetrol. And I do add water to the white. I want it pretty fluid. It's just to basically wet the surface of the canvas. This is not going to be a straight out pour. There's not going to be a lot of leftover paint on the table. You're going to keep pretty much most of it on the surface of your canvas. I don't remember what I was saying and what I was motioning my hands for. But just bear with me and I will kind of explain the process as I go through. Also, when I spread that white onto the canvas with that little plastic white tool with the curved top is a Wilton icing and fondant cake spreader tool. You can get it in the cake decorating section at Michael's or uh, Walmart has it. So I'm just lining up the colors I'm going to use. I had a bunch of colors I mixed up for a class. That's Laguna. There's a quinacridone magenta or violet underneath that. There's a bright blue. That is a green tree. That is green tree and Laguna mixed together. So it's kind of a greenish blue. And then that darkest color is kind of like a Payne's gray. It's like a really dark, dark navy turquoise color. I'm thinking about using the bright green, but I don't think I end up using it after all. I do have silver mixed up that I will be bringing into it a little bit. And this one is purple pizzazz. I'm just, it had thickened up a bit. I dripped on the canvas, but it's going to get covered up, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to start with these colors that I have mixed and I want to trickle it just kind of randomly. This is going to be a swipe. It's going to be a little different from the usual swipe. So just bear with me a bit. I decided I wanted to add a little bit of silver into it. And what I envision this piece being at the end of the video is something after it dries where I can paint fish or a dolphin or something. That's what I have in mind. That's the intention of this painting is to do a background for something later that has some artwork on it. So I'm drizzling the green tree now. And the purple pizzazz.
And now I'm going to do this really deep quinacridone, I believe it's quinacridone violet. It's thicker, so it's uh, not coming out as well as some of my other paints. And now the Laguna. And the bright blue. So I'm turning it around because I'm going to swipe towards me and I intentionally left the, the bottom third, about a third of the canvas with really no paint besides the white that's already underneath. And here I am adding the dark Payne's Gray, which is like a really dark blue. And I've got a paper towel that is three widths wide. So you know how it comes off in sections? That's three sections wide because this is a 16 by 20 canvas. That way I have plenty of space to go across and swipe with. And I like to use a damp paper towel. And I kind of bunch it up between my fingers so that it doesn't drop or drag down into my paint. And I don't even care if this swipe turns out perfectly because I'm planning on doing something with a blow dryer afterwards. So I let it lay down in that swiping color. And I always make my swiping color a little more watery than the other colors. And in this instance, I am swiping. All colors have OGX in them, even the, the deep blue. So you can swipe with any color that you would like to, if it has silicone in it or not. But you do want it a little bit more fluid than the rest of your other paint so that the surface tension breaks up and those colors pop through. And now I'm just going back down to the bottom and adding some of that deep blue back in places where it wasn't as heavy. But I kind of wanted it to feel like the deep blue ocean or something kind of watery splashing upwards. So that's kind of where this particular style that I wanted to try kind of came into my mind. I, I'm sure other people have maybe tried it. Who knows? I, I haven't seen anybody do it, but I wanted to do a swipe and then I wanted to do the blow dryer effect over it in areas just to see what kind of effect I could get. So I'm adding white back at this end of the canvas because that's where the canvas is like really thin with paint and if you're if your paint is too thin or almost drying, your other colors will not move into it. So I thought, well, I'm going to add more white and then bring it back down over my colors to ensure that I do get 
the blues and purples and all that to go back into the white area when I blow it with the blow dryer. So that is my thinking on that part of the process, which I typically don't add color back on the other end of a swipe. So now I'm going to use a blow dryer and you always use a cool setting. You don't want to use heat because it will dry the surface of your paint. And you just, this is a super powerful blow dryer so I put it on a low setting. So this is where I say it's kind of a combination of a swipe and a Dutch pour. And then this is just a really sped up version. I'm using some of that deep violet color because I really, really love that color with the blue tones and just kind of spreading it through with a stick, blowing a bit, using a skewer just to add some pizzazz into it just a bit. I always say if you don't like the way something looks in certain areas, adjust it. So here is the close-up. I think it actually turned out pretty cool. I think it'll make a, it's pretty by itself or it would make a great background for some fish jumping out at you or a dolphin or something fun like that. So I have visions of doing artwork on top of this later on. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the bottom right bell if you are a subscriber to get notifications when I post new videos. Check the link below the video. I have my Create, Embrace Your Creative Spirit, new online tutorials if you want to learn how to paint with acrylics doing fish and flowers and things like that. I would love to teach you how to do that. The classes are only $35. You can pick and choose which ones you'd like to take. Also, I have my Amazon link recommendations, my Facebook group if you'd like to join me over there, and my PayPal and Patreon accounts if you'd like to give any support. It's much appreciated. And I just really hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time.